Hey guys, I'm Tori Sterling. Welcome back to my channel. You guys are watching a makeup tutorial. So I recently posted this picture on my Instagram and everybody <laughs> was like asking for a makeup tutorial on it and I'm just gonna say it. I've already done a makeup tutorial on this look but I know that like if I say that no one's actually gonna go watch it so I decided to like redo it again. And I'm sure I use like different products than I did last time but I'm pretty sure I've done this on my channel before because there was like a phase in my senior year of high school where I wore this look every single day for like three months straight so I definitely know that I've probably done a tutorial on this. I don't know what it's called, so it's a good thing I'm remaking it, but it's super, super simple. But when I like get into it, you guys are gonna be like, oh yeah, I have seen this. Sorry. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and join the Starling fam. I upload new videos as often as I can. If you guys wanna see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Hang on. If you guys hear a lot of Justin Bieber in this video, it's because tonight, for my spin class, I have a Justin Bieber theme ride, and I have an entire vlog about that. Um, first thing is um, to prime my skin. I've been using the MAC Prep and Pot. MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base lately. It's actually like one of my favorites. I love this and they sent it to me and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use it and since then I've just been loving this. In the picture that I put on Instagram, I was wearing the uh, Kat Von D Locket foundation, but that was when I had a lot of self tanner on and it's fading out now So if I use this it'd be way too dark and way too warm on me So I'm actually gonna use um, a different foundation. This is the Estee Lauder double wear foundation, but I did mix it this foundation with the Smashbox primer finish photo finish primer oil um, just to thin it out, but I'm gonna use oil on this too because it's what I did in the picture. I don't really know what oil even does. I just liked it because I used it to thin out that foundation, but this one doesn't really need thinning out, so whatever. I'm just putting it on with my finger for right now to get the excess off my finger. And then I'm gonna go in with a um, stippling brush. I'm just gonna spray my brush with a little bit of Thix Plus and buff that into my skin, keep everything dewy, luminous, natural, if you will. All right, so once you're blended and you're matched and you blend in with your neck because your neck is tanner than your face because you don't self-tan your face, you are ready to move on to the next step. For concealer, I mixed together these two. This is the um, Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade 25 and 15. I would have 20, but I gave it to my friend Kat, so I'm just gonna mix these two shades and um, use this underneath my eye to conceal and to brighten as well. Then to set everywhere that I just put concealer, I'm using the Too Faced Translucent Setting Powder. I adore this setting powder. I think it is so amazing and it just has a really beautiful finish on the skin. I'll show you. Look at this. It just mattifies so beautifully and keeps everything nice and, and bright and like lifted. It's a really amazing powder and it doesn't have flashback. So, you know, I'm here for it. I'm just setting this everywhere that I just put the concealer. After that, I'm gonna move on to bronzer, and the bronzer today that I'm using is Hula Bronzer by Benefit, and you guys are probably like, oh my god, Tori, like, you use new products. Listen, I haven't used this bronzer in, like, a few months, so I used it in that Instagram picture, and I was like, why did I ever stop using this? Like, I love this. I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer a lot lately, and, like, no shade, no tea to Too Faced. I love that bronzer, but, like, why did I ever stop using Hoola by Benefit? Like, I'd love to know. My highlight does not go with, like, the color scheme of my eyes and, like, the rest of it, but this is just my favorite highlighter ever, and, like, I just love it. So it's um, Gilded Honey by Lara Geller, and, like, no highlighter will just ever compare. I mean, I have this one, which matches a little bit better, Charming Pink by Lara Geller, but it just makes me look like pale <laughs> and I don't want to look pale. Like I want to look glowy and like tan all the time. So I use this. Did I just hit pan? I did. Get that everywhere. Get it good. Get it going. Get it, get it gold. I didn't use, I don't really wear blush as you guys know, but I did put on a little bit of blush. So this is Stereo Rose by MAC. OG if you remember this. And I just put it back here. Not really on my cheeks, because I don't really like blush. 
on my cheeks. So I just started my eyes, realized it wasn't recording, so that's really good. <laughs> but anyway, um, to start in my crease, I'm just using Yogurt Here by MAC. Not called Yogurt Here, it's Yogurt by MAC. It's like this purpley stone gray tone, and I'm just putting this into my crease. Just a very light transition shade for the other eyeshadow to blend into. And yeah, this is MAC, and I'm sure a lot of my haters are going to drag me for this because MAC is not cruelty free, but... This was the makeup and y'all requested it, so <laughs> I'm gonna go in to my other MAC palette. These are all custom made, by the way. You can't go into the store and buy these. Uh, you can buy the individual shadows, but like this palette is not available in MAC because I made it. Um, so this is Satin Taupe by MAC, and I'm taking this on a Sigma E25 blending brush. And with this, I'm gonna put this all over my lid and up into my crease. And again, I have done this look, I'm, pos I'm pretty positive I've done this look before on my channel too, but I mean, you guys really, really did want to see it again, so for everyone that's going to be like, your looks are all the same, yeah, they are, like, yeah, I wear neutral makeup every single day. Once you put that everywhere, then you go back in with a blending brush, this is a 224 by MAC, and I'm just blending this out right here. On this little brush right here, I'm just going to take satin taupe underneath my eye and smoke that out. Then I'm going to take a black. This is Raven by NYX. I use this very lightly because it's super pigmented. I'm just putting a little bit of this on the outer corners of my eyes just to deepen up the look a little bit. I know that looks kind of crazy, but don't worry. I'm just going to go in here and blend that. And then I am going to go in with the Sigma blending brush that has satin taupe on it and just buff that then for underneath my eyebrows i've been taking blanc type which is just like a matte cream and i've been putting that right underneath my brow bone because my crease shades i've been pretty sloppy lately and they just tend to get up a little bit too high so i just do that to kind of separate them my inner corner highlight like everyone and their mother is asking me it's floof by mac floof and satin taupe just go together like bread and butter they are just so beautiful together they have the exact same undertone they're both a frost they're just actually i don't know if they're both a frost but they're both frosty and they just look so beautiful together i'm going to go in here with a little bit of urban decay zero eyeliner 24 7 glide to line my upper lash line this is raven again it's just a black shadow on a smudger brush and I just throw that on the outer corner just to smudge it out. This is V appropriate because it's like a gray toned purpley look and Justin Bieber's favorite color is purple and I'm gonna wear my purple sports bra tonight so for mascara I use these three mascaras every day you guys always ask me what mascara I use and this is it so I use Benefit They're Real Too Faced Better Than Sex both of those go on my upper lashes and then I use the Clinique Workout 24 Hour Mascara on my lower lashes because the wand is skinnier so it's easier to get the lower lashes and just These are also my real eyelashes. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions like what lashes have I been wearing. I haven't worn lashes since I've started using Babe Lash, which is a lash growth serum. To finish off is lips. So I just used a little bit of Myth Lipstick by MAC, V-O-G. I just use a little bit just to lighten my own lips. And then I go in with Turkish Delight by NARS. I know right now it might look a little crazy because my hair is back like this, but let me do my hair and then you guys will see that it all comes together. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Why am I holding this? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me in the comments down below what other videos you guys want to see. Um, yeah, I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!